there's a few tricks. Um, you know, starting off at the most formal version, it would be, you know, finding um, influencer relationship management um, softwares or companies or using influencer search tools like, um, you know, Webstagram is just an Instagram search tool. Um, Totems um, is another company that has a pretty cool Instagram search tool. And there's a, there's a lot of tools out there now that can help you sort through from a topic standpoint. And they're relatively low cost. Like you could you know, be spending anywhere from, you know, $100 to $1,000, $2,000 a month or so um, to just get your feet wet. Uh, one of the other things you can do if you are literally on a zero budget um, is you can just start finding and following, um, you know, people that are following other competitive brands um, or that speak over certain topics. So this is literally like, hey, just open up your Instagram and start sorting through the people that are having conversations. Instagram's um, similar uh, system where when you, you know, click and follow somebody and then it pops up with three more suggestions. It's actually a really cool way of finding very similar people that probably talk about a lot of the same things. So if you can find that one sort of seed person that you're looking for and then, you know, multiple seeds, then you can start identifying a larger number of them. And luckily, you know, a large percentage of them, particularly if they're, you know, not the Rihannas of the world, I'm not talking about big celebrities, they probably have their contact information um, available in their bio. So, you know, you can always reach out to them and start developing a dialogue. Um, and those, those two sort of routes, you know, work pretty good. And once you, once you start engaging um, with those influencers and you start, you know, trying to develop relationships with them, you're either going to have a, you know, paid relationship. So that's you compensating them to engage with your brand. Um, or it's going to be some type of gifted relationship of you providing them with product or a combination of both. Right, it can fit in between those two, um, you know, based on one, you know, the status of what it is that you're offering, the stage that you are at um, as the brand, as well as how large the influencer is. Because the, the reality is, is one thing that you never want to get caught up in is trying to spend all of your time and all your wheels on finding all the best and perfect influencers. They're going to do something for you for free. When the reality is that the biggest guys out there, this is a business for them as well. So a certain amount of free product isn't going to move um, some of the biggest guys, <laughs> but it might work for some of them. So just making sure that you're, you're okay with having that mix and planning that I'm going to have this mixture of people that you know, will be excited and incentivized by product. I'm also going to have this mixture of people that I look more as my media distribution outlet uh, that may have much larger audiences and drive larger engagement but I'm going to have to compensate them for that. 